I love shoes. Always have, always will, always gonna wear them. And because we have properly reached autumn in the UK, today we're going to chat about my most worn autumn and winter shoes and boots. So that includes all the shoes and boots that I've mostly been wearing for the last couple of years. Now some of these shoes you're going to love, some of these you may not love as much, but because of that I encourage you to challenge yourself and to see what kind of takes your fancy and let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Eleanor and on this channel we explore our personal style together. I help you to build your outfits in a chic and stylish way so that you become more confident. I post weekly style videos so if you enjoy this video please like it and consider subscribing so that you stay informed of all my future videos. So as mentioned in today's video we are going to be talking about my most worn autumn winter shoes and boots. So I've grouped the shoes into categories as much as possible to try and make it as easy as possible for you and I'll link as many of the pairs of shoes as I can down below. Some of them are older, um, if I can't find the exact ones I will find similar ones and link them um, and I'll also put some alternative ones up on the screen for you. Okay so for the first category we're going to be talking about flats. Now I did uh, briefly mentioned this in my previous video but I think flat shoes are so important during autumn winter you don't always want to wear something with a heel sometimes you just want to be kind of casual um, kind of easygoing casual outfit and for this reason a closed toe flat shoe is so important so the first one um, which I did also mention in the previous video is a pair of ballet flats I love these because they are quilted the quilting detail just brings such a nice um, interest to your outfit um, and I also love that these are in quite a beigey neutral color so they're going to go with so many of your outfits now the second pair is a pair of loafers now um, as also mentioned in the previous video loafers have been uh, kind of on trend for quite a while um, but I think these are a kind of a shoe that's kind of like a classic trend if that makes sense because they, they're so chic they're just not gonna go anywhere and, and they go with so many pieces in your wardrobe I love wearing mine with my straight leg jeans and um, you can also wear them with uh, leggings um, they also look good with um, a kind of like a mini skirt I love wearing mine like that um, and these are just so sleek and so delicate and I find them very feminine of course you do get the more chunkier version um, I've tried the chunky version they don't work as well on me but these are just um, so sleek and you can also get them without the um, kind of like gold detailing so if you prefer it without any gold hardware I've seen some with um, kind of silver hardware I did actually see H&M had a pair of these recently without any kind of gold hardware or silver hardware and I will definitely pop it up for you now this pair is technically not flats and um, they do have a little bit of a heel um, and again they've got the quilting detail but the reason I'm including them is because they are just a smarter version of a flat-ish shoe and if you're going on a date night or kind of like brunch with the girls and you want to smarten, up, smarten it up a little bit I do recommend a pair like this just because yeah they, they smarten up your outfit um, they bring a little bit more uh, pizzazz or oomph to your outfit um, and it's just a smart way of dressing up a pair of jeans um, even like a pair of white jeans or with, oh, I can imagine wearing this with, um, with kind of like a satin silk skirt it's just going to bring that extra level of smartness this pair is from Dune but I will link similar items for you now my next category is a pair of classic Chelsea boots and I have two pairs to show you today so I think Chelsea boots are just such a um, quintessentially English <laughs> type of boot I really learned about uh, Chelsea boots when I moved here and so these are the boots with the kind of like the stretchy detail on the side um, and I think they are so practical during the autumn winter months they keep your ankles warm some versions are flat some versions have a heel um, this is a navy blue um, navy blue pair and again it doesn't have too much going on it's leather it's quite simple 
quite classic quite timeless um, and again these go so well with so many types of outfits and because they're so classic it makes for such a versatile shoe um, you don't have to think too hard about what you're wearing with it um, you know just throw them on with a pair of jeans uh, with a pair of leggings again with a skirt and they just work so well so this is a pair from Jules they are current um, I think they're available and I will link them down below and then this brown pair has a little bit more of a heel but they are still quite comfortable this pair is from barber and i really really love this pair i love a brown boot these ones are made from a real leather as well super comfortable super sleek super timeless you just cannot go wrong with chelsea boots and again i will just double check that they are still available if not i will link a similar pair below now the next category that I want to mention is trainers and these are just like simple white trainers, um, quite a casual shoe. This is a pair from Veya and I just think trainers are such an essential, um, well firstly we're not always going to be dressing up, sometimes you just want a really nice flat trainer especially when you're kind of like doing the school run, just running to the shops quickly but I think that the style of trainer is, you know, it can just kind of, it gives a casual chic vibe to your outfit. So sometimes you want to get dressed really quickly, but you don't want to look, you still want to look put together. And I think this will achieve that. If you can imagine just a pair of jeans, t-shirt and a blazer, and then you wear a pair of trainers. Um, and then of course you can be wearing that exact same outfit but then, you know, if you change the shoe out for like with a loafer or a heeled boot, it would look completely different. And of course, if this type of trainer isn't really your vibe, I could also recommend something like this. I would recommend a trainer like this. It's got more of a, like a retro vibe to them. Um, so this pair is from Dune. But um, of course, uh, you know, New Balance make these type of shoes, Nike, I'll insert some pictures so that you can see more. But I love this retro style um, vibe and I think it's quite a trend at the moment, the retro style. So again, just think a pair of jeans or throw them on with a little mini skirt, a little leather mini skirt. I think it could make for a very cute look actually. But just to come back to the Veya trainers, they can be a little bit pricey, so I would recommend, um, I, I think I just saw some ones from H&M, which are a lot more affordable. I also saw um, a leather pair from Marks & Spencer. Uh, so there was a pair in leather, as well as another pair non-leather, which is even more affordable. Um, and I'll put those options up on the screen and down below as well. But this style is very much, um, very much an autumn staple for me. Okay, so moving on to the next category and we have chunky boots. Now, this is the pair that I have and I feel like most people in England <laughs> or in the Northern Hemisphere, I should say, have a pair like this by now. Now, I think I mentioned in my previous video that I was a very slow to the chunky boot trend just because chunky anything really. I feel like because I'm petite, I'm quite slim, I'm quite small, I just felt like it's quite overwhelming on me but I did give it a try and I do always recommend you know just try something try it out and I tried it out and actually it started to grow on me I thought it was a trend that was just that was just going to come in for one or two seasons and then it was going to die out but it's here to stay and for good reason I can see why because it rains so much here I just find it so practical um, you know like I'll take my children for walks I'll take my uh, kids for a walk to the beach to a park that's quite muddy during autumn winter and these just work so well if you look at the sole at the sole they're quite dirty actually but if you look at the sole it's quite thick and just because of the chunky nature of them they just work so well um, like in the wet <laughs> or walking through the mud or wet grass or just just in the rain in general so this is a pair that I picked up from next about a year ago actually um, I will link some similar ones because there are some great ones um, out right now I saw a stunning pair from Dune um, and of course there are the higher end ones which I'll pop up there are also some more affordable options which I'll also link for you and I just 
I, I really like them now. I wear them with, uh, over like leggings, I wear them with jeans, I do wear them. Um, I think I wore this once um, with kind of like a cream skirt um, over on Instagram. Oh, and do follow me there, by the way, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I just, I really, really like them. And just as an alternative option, I also just wanted to throw out this white, kind of like an off-white pair. To be honest, there are so many different styles on the market right now. Um, I don't think you're actually going to struggle to find a pair that suits you. Of course, a black is a classic color. It goes with everything. But if you wanted to bring a little bit more interest to your outfits, I would say, you know, just try out a different color. So like I said, this pair is in white, more like an off-white. Um, I also have a pink pair somewhere. I, was, I looked for them, but I couldn't find them actually. Um, but there's just so many options right now. And, and again, they're, they're actually just so comfortable. And if I'm really honest, they do bring a coolness factor to your look. Now, moving on to the next category, we have knee-high boots. Now, I love a knee-high boot, and I think they are so essential during the autumn. They're essential during the winter, just when it's cold. You just, you just need a knee-high boot. Now, the first pair that I want to share with you again is, and I say again because I think I shared them in my previous video, um, it's this pair of knee-high heeled boots from Dune. Oh, I love this pair so much. They are so comfortable, and actually, they don't have a zip anywhere but it's actually kind of big enough to get my big calves in so i really love this pair and it comes in this like mock croc detail they're real leather they're just so so good so i think this is an essential pair in any autumn winter wardrobe and again i will find some similar ones to link for you now again when it comes to knee high boots they are completely your choice if you want to wear them with a heel or flat um, like i said i love these heeled ones but i also like to wear them flat and i've got a few options for you so the first pair is a pair of knee high flat boots and technically they're chunky boots so they actually uh, kind of cross over into the category I mentioned before into the, the chunky boot category um, but these are so nice I picked these up from Oasis and they are current they're very much still in stock they are also real leather um, which to me just means that they are much more comfortable generally I find real leather to be more comfortable um, it's quite soft and Again, they just bring an edge to an outfit. I also love them because they're quite plain. There's not um, too much detailing going on with them. Uh, they're quite sleek. So they just work with any outfit. They're quite minimal, like that minimal chic look. And I just love them. Again, I will find some similar ones for you. I'm sure I saw a similar pair at Mango, H&M, some affordable options. And I will link those down below for you. Now, staying with knee-high boots, I wanted to show you a pair of black knee-high boots. They have a round toe, but in this case, they have more of a block heel. And I just feel like even though they have a heel, because it's a block heel that's quite wide, they're going to be so comfortable. In fact, they are very comfortable. So this pair I picked up from Bowden last year. Um, I will have a look to see if they are still in stock. But I just love the style because again, it's so, so classic. You just can't go wrong with them. They're black, they're leather, um, quite minimal looking. And this with a beautiful midi dress um, oh, or even a mini, like a mini skirt. I just think it looks so stunning. Uh, I should have some photos which I will insert. I absolutely adore them. And because this isn't a particularly a trendy item, it's just going to remain in style forever. It's a true classic. Moving on is a category of boots that probably needs no introduction if you know me or if you follow me on, on Instagram, and that is the heeled ankle boot, um, which you'll often see me wearing in black as well as in tan or camel, camel tan. I love a heeled ankle boot. Now, the reason why I love these in particular is because they are so sleek, so minimal, so classic, and um, you just cannot go wrong with these. I adore them. That's why I have the exact same pair of boots in two shades. Now, these are from Dune, and I've had both of them for quite a while, and um, they've been in my collection, and I just wear them with absolutely 
everything. And they tend to be a little bit uh, on the pricier side, but I did see a similar pair at ASOS, which I will link and I will insert. Um, they're 32 pounds. Not entirely sure if they are leather, but I will, I will put it on screen. And I just love them. They are so sleek. I highly recommend a pair like this in your wardrobe. You cannot go wrong with them. And then the other pair that I picked up recently is this beige pair from And Other Stories. And I am, sorry to use the word obsessed. <laughs> But I am so obsessed with this pair and I like they're so soft. This leather is a battery soft. They're just they're stretchy around the ankle. They are so comfortable. Like this block heel is just so comfortable. And they're just I just like I find them to be such a fresh pair for autumn. I wanna when I want to step away from the black or the 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 tan camel. Um this is just such a lovely pair. Now the next category is kind of pulling on from the previous category but that's beige boots um, and like I said just before going for like a light color boot it's just so refreshing from the usual darker colors and so that's why I've included these two in a category of their own and I will find some more to link for you I think it just makes for such a great um, like a refreshing option like I mentioned and sometimes when you wear a neutral outfit and you want to be like head to toe neutral you just don't want to break it up with black or like dark brown I think it's so nice when you can just kind of pair that or match that with a shade that's quite similar to the rest of your outfit. So I think a white t-shirt with a pair of off-white jeans and a pair of like cream boots or like a really light colored pair of boots like this. I love that look and I'll definitely insert some looks for you. Now the next category of shoe is lace-up boots. Now what I have seen to be very popular in this country is um, kind of like the flat combat style lace-up boots so if you think like the classic Doc Martens which are really really cool and I love them um, but I, sometimes I think they're a bit too um, maybe too on the chunky side for me although that is changing these days however the lace-up pair that I wanted to mention is, is actually a little bit more of a sleek heeled pair and I'm just going to show you one at a time actually so if you look closely they've got kind of like quite a broad block heel um, and they're made from leather so it's real leather but they've got this gorgeous lace-up detail which I love um, it's an ankle boot um, it's kind of got a not kind of it's got a square toe um, but I think just because it's quite like minimal it's got quite a minimal design it just looks really really sleek and chic and again quite classic and very much like a typical shoe for me um, so I don't think I've had lace-up boots in a very very long time but when I saw this pair I really really wanted them so this pair is from Hobbs and again they asked last time I checked they were still available I will link them for you but I think I'll probably also list some chunkier flat ones uh, just because I think they're very popular here and people do tend to love them um, so if you think like Doc Martens but on the um, kind of more affordable end of the scale um, I saw some nice ones from Mango and also from ASOS and I will link those for you as well okay so moving on to category number nine I have cowboy boots for you now remember at the beginning of the video I mentioned that some of these trends may not be for you <laughs> I think this is probably one of those trends you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it but I actually love cowboy boots now I've got two pairs here to show you so let's start with a black pair I think the black pair is probably a little bit more wearable for everyone it certainly is for me and I tend to wear these more than the black pair more than the gold pair but it's quite a subtle cowboy detail and again this block heel makes it very very comfortable um, it's got the zip on the inside and just, it's just kind of like a very subtle cowboy effect and I love them and for me I love wearing this with jeans I think I've, <laughs> I've mentioned jeans so many times in this video but that's because I wear I wear jeans a lot so I really really love like love this one it's it's cowboy but it's kind of classic yeah it's kind of classic then this pair oh my gosh this golden pair so this pair I picked up from anthropology almost a year ago I think and they are just so nice so the way that I wear this pair is very much 
I make the shoe, I make the boot the center of attention. So everything else is quite minimal, quite like a minimal chic. I don't do too much with the rest of the outfit. Just think straight jeans and a t-shirt or straight jeans and like a fit, fitted jumper, like in black or white or beige. Yeah, for me, this would be too much to pair with like a really colorful items up top. But, that, but that's just the way that I, I would style them. For you, it might work to, to pair it with something really bold and colorful. But that's how I like to wear them. And I just like, I love them. I love them. Um, it's quite a surprise to me. It's not my usual type of shoe. But like I mentioned before, sometimes you just have to try something and just see how it resonates with you. And these really resonated with me. Okay, so we're onto the last category and this is category number 10. Now, I actually don't have any examples of these shoes on hand, but they are typically referred to as <laughs> the ugly shoes. <laughs> ugly shoes, and under ugly shoes, I'm going to include clogs. Can I just mention, when I say ugly shoes, I don't, I don't necessarily think that they are ugly, but this is what they are referred to out there. So clogs, and I think clogs can actually look really, really cool. They can look so nice. And I'm gonna be honest, I am tempted to try them out. Like I said, you need to try something out. So clogs, um, I've seen some amazing ones and I'm gonna insert some pics here. I've, I've got a folder on Pinterest. I'm gonna just like upload some of those photos. Um, and then aside from the clogs, there's also the whole kind of like sandal with a sock trend. For me, that's very much a trend. I wouldn't say that that's like a classic way to wear your shoes or to wear your sandals. But what do you think about the, the socks and sandal trend? Is that something that you'd wear? What do you think about clogs? Is that something that you'd wear? That is, that is what I have for you today. 10 categories of autumn winter shoe trends and shoes that I like to wear during autumn winter. What do you think? Do you have a favorite? Um, is there any particular type of shoe that you wear most often? Let me hear from you. I'm really focused on building a community here on YouTube. So leave me a comment down below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely check me out on Instagram. I post on there daily. I'm very active. I love hearing from you guys. If you have any ideas for styling videos that you'd like to see from me going into um, the rest of winter, the rest of autumn, please let me know. Like I said, I, I really want to hear from you. Um, so that is it that is what i have for you today i really hope that you enjoyed it and i cannot wait to see you in the next one bye